Choosing the best laptop for the Adobe Creative Cloud is all about choosing the right laptop. So whether you're using Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, InDesign, as a video editor, graphic designer, or photographer, it's all about making the right choice for the specific programs that you'll be using. That's all coming at you right now. Hey, what's going on? I'm Benji Kaiser. If you're new to the channel, this is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. This video is sponsored by Don't Tech With Me, my channel about tech terms as well as the latest releases and tech news built for creative professionals. You can check it out in the YouTube cards above. So the first thing we're going to do when we're diving into looking at these laptops is I'm going to list out these laptops. I'm going to tell you which laptops I recommend. Then what I want you to do is hang on to the second part of this video where I'm going to explain why I chose these laptops and which one is right for which specific programs. So hang on to the end of the video because that's really the important part. But I definitely want to give you guys these laptop recommendations first. So the first laptop, and this is the budget category, is going to be the Acer Swift 5, followed by the Lenovo Flex 5, the Dell Inspiron 15 5000, the Asus VivoBook S15. Those are the first budget laptops. Now, these laptops are really good for, say, Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator, but we'll dive deeper to that into the second half of the video. The next laptop setup is the mid-range laptops. This is the Lenovo Legion Y540, the MSI Modern 15, the Acer Concept D3, the HP Spectre X360, and the MSI Prestige 15. Now, these laptops are good for Adobe InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Premiere Pro. These laptops are going to give you the opportunity to do some 1080p video editing and some light 4K video editing. All right, now to our high-end laptops. This will be the Dell XPS 15, the MacBook Pro 16, and the Gigabyte Aero 15, followed by the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo, the Razer Blade 15, and the Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition. All right, I really just lumped those laptops into a big mishmash and categorize them because yes, those are my laptop recommendations, but more than anything, it's important to understand why I've recommended those laptops. If you're curious about the exact specs or pricing of any of these models as we're going through the video, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. So first and foremost, what program do you plan on using? And do you plan on using multiple programs at the same time? As a graphic designer, I am constantly using a mix of Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator. So I've been in the graphic design industry for about 10 years. And since I've been in the industry, I've actually moved even more towards now doing video editing in Premiere Pro. So using all of those programs simultaneously takes a lot of power from your laptop. So those budget laptops in the budget category, those are great buys, but you got to make sure that you're going to be running one to two design programs at one time. And if you're also going to want to run Spotify or iTunes Music or something along those lines, and maybe be browsing the web, you're going to start pulling a lot of power from the laptop and from that processor and from your RAM memory. So let's jump into that real quick. If you have a budget laptop in the budget category, you're going to want to run one, maybe two design programs at the same time, and maybe be listening to music. After you get more than that, you're going to start to really pull a lot of power and it's going to slow down your laptop. So those budget laptops are great. They're a great buy. They're a good entry level, but you don't want to overpower them because you're going to lose performance and you'll just become frustrated. So that's my recommendation. Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, maybe listening to some music and browsing the web, possibly. If you're browsing the web, listening to music and using a design program, I recommend using one program at a time. All right, let's move into the mid-range category. Now, the mid-range category is where we start to see some color accurate laptops that's super important. I actually don't have any super color accurate laptops in the budget category. So you're gonna start to see some color accuracy of 100% Adobe RGB and DCI-P3, as well as sRGB. So that's the MSI Prestige 15, the Acer Concept D, those two are going to be great for color accuracy. And the MSI Modern 15, that one has an sRGB of 100%. So those are going to be my top color accurate laptops. Now these laptops are where you're going to be able to start getting into some video editing. So like I said, 1080p, maybe a little bit of 4K, and you're going to be able to run multiple programs at the same time while listening to music and browsing the web. Um, so if you're interested in color accuracy, you're interested in getting a little bit more battery life, you're interested in using, say, Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator simultaneously, then the mid-range 
range category is really where you want to buy. That's going to be your price range and that's going to be the best performance for you. And you find yourself doing some video editing on the side as well. Those laptops are going to be great for that. All right, next let's look at the high-end laptops. All right, so this is where we're going to have great battery life. We're going to have 100% color accuracy in all of these models. Yes, that's correct. In all these models, you're going to have 100% color accuracy in Adobe RGB, sRGB, and DCI P3. You're going to have great battery life. These laptops are all going to be looking at around six to eight hours of battery life while using design programs. That's hard to say for the other mid-range to budget categories. You're going to see that type of battery life, but it's going to be more like productivity tasks, like using Word docs or browsing the web. But if you're using design programs, and specifically if you're video editing, you're going to pull that power down a lot more. All right, so these laptops are going to be great for 4K video editing, especially the MacBook Pro, the Dell XPS, the Gigabyte Aero 15, and the Razorblade Studio Edition. Those laptops are killer for 4K video editing and even beyond. That Razorblade Studio Edition, it's an expensive machine, but you're going to be able to edit 6K video editing on that with really, really good performance. All right, so for these, you're going to use multiple design programs at the same time. You're using even video editing. So like with my laptop, I'll be running Premiere Pro exporting and I'll be editing in Photoshop while listening to music or watching a, or listening to a YouTube video. So these laptops are really, really great for workflow and productivity. Um, and what I mean by that is it boosts your productivity because it has more power. You can do more things at the same time. These laptops are going to have great export times out of Premiere Pro. They're going to run really good in the timeline. So you're not going to have any lagginess in the timeline if you're editing 1080p, 4K. Um, the mid-range, you're going to be able to edit 1080p without much lag in the timeline, but these, these uh, high-end laptops are really going to be fantastic for the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite and using it as a whole, so using it all in sync with one another at the same time. All right, so let's jump into now the specs, if you really want to know about like specs and how those all play out within your laptop, within your machine. So the RAM, the RAM is really what focuses on using um, multiple programs at the same time. It helps complement the CPU. So the more RAM you have, the more programs you can have open. That's why you'll see these higher end laptops have anywhere from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM. The more mid-range to budget laptops are going to have 8 to 16 gigs. So the more RAM you have, the more programs you can run at the same time. That's complemented, that complements the CPU. As you have those higher end CPUs like the i7-9750H or the i7-10... Uh, 510U, uh, that processor um, is going to be more power. It's going to give you the ability to run more programs at the same time. You're not going to pull down your performance as much. The GPU. Now, the graphics processing units are really, really good for rendering as well as they complement playback in the timeline of Premiere Pro. So if you have a better GPU, you're going to have better playback and you're going to have better rendering times. They don't help much at all with export times. That's the CPU and the RAM. All right, so with the GPU and the CPU, those are the two that are really going to help you out in Premiere Pro. You're going to see in Premiere Pro about 50 to 70% CPU, uh, but if you're really pushing like a mid-range or budget laptop, you're going to see, you know, maybe even 100% CPU usage. And then you're going to see a GPU usage of about 15 to 30% of the entire GPU out of 100%. So as you see, the GPU is very much a complement of the CPU. Now for the storage, so I recommend always doing solid state hard drives because that's going to have the fastest read and write times, the fastest load speeds, and you're going to have the least amount of lag. So if you're complementing a really good processor like an i7-9750H, if you're getting a high-end laptop or more of the mid-range laptop like an i5-9300H, uh, then you're going to really complement that with a nice solid-state hard drive with about 16 gigs of RAM and a you know good medium-of-the-road GPU like the GTX uh, 1650 or even like if you're getting a little bit maybe like a past year's model iteration, the GTX 1050. Um, that's a GPU that I have actually in my current daily laptop, these type of specs are really going to give you a great Adobe uh, Creative Cloud laptop. All right, that was a ton of information. If you're curious about more videos about tech and explanation videos and even current tech news, I started a brand new channel called Don't Tech With Me. You can check that out in the YouTube cards above or the description below, but you can check out also full laptop reviews on the channel you're currently watching, Benji Kaiser. So this is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I thank you so much for hanging on for this whole video if you've made it this far. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I will see you here on the next one.